What is up, Battlefielders? By now, you'll probably have been cut off from the beta and be suffering nasty withdrawal symptoms, including an extreme desire to counterknife someone or an intense need to rip some defib paddles off the wall at work, charge them up, and start shocking random rooftop snipers. That's what you get, sniper! Over the next two weeks, this desire may increase exponentially and become dangerous, so we thought it'd be important to give you an outlet to battle your fellow players with words. That's what you get for running, Sniper! Oh, sorry. Yes, today we are briefly talking gameplay comparisons between console and PC. Now, I'll admit this argument is a bit time-sensitive since next-gen consoles may make those differences irrelevant, but you don't have an X-Bone or PS4, do ya? Let's do this. Our first major gameplay difference is the number of flags on Conquest. Three flags on console versus five flags on PC. This fits the 24 vs 64 player caps respectively, but consoles aren't getting architecturally shorted as the mall and underground included in both versions are far more interesting than that building on the water over there and the garage with suspiciously few cars parked in it. Buildings with elevators are only on the central three objectives, so both platforms can have their own awkward time in the teleport box. That's what you get for staying in the elevator! <clears throat> domination and obliteration modes are far more similar between platforms, with domination running 32 players on PC versus 24 players on console, and obliteration mode running the same restrictions. The one advantage current gen consoles might have, with the consistent 24 player cap, is that playlists should be able to mix modes, whereas on PC, a mixed mode playlist would have to kick half the players out to change game types or overload other game types with too many players. Metro. Far more interesting between platforms are the different vehicles. When playing Conquest on console, each side gets a scout helicopter in addition to a tank and an MRAP type vehicle. On PC, there's an attack helicopter, a transport helicopter, two tanks, an amphibious IFV, two MRAP style vehicles, a handful of jet skis, and an attack boat that spawns on sea. We found flow of battle to be appropriate for both versions in terms of players per vehicle, but the lack of water focused combat is a loss on the console side. Strangely enough, when you look at obliteration mode, consoles get the full boundaries of the map back, as well as a closer match of vehicles to the PC counterpart. So it's not that console can't, it's that it won't. Differences in processing power has also had unexpected consequences beyond graphics. Covers different in several places between battlefield versions, most notably on console, at the top of the skyscraper at sea, the elevator banks more or less lead to a sparsely decorated top floor. Gunfights center around the corners of the elevator banks and the roof. On PC, the penthouse is decked out with bars, planter boxes, dividers, and umbrellas that create more concealment and cover for gunfights to take place. Both PC and console allow the skyscraper to drop and the wreckage it leaves behind, plus all that smog is more or less the same. Tactical destruction is also virtually the same cross console, and we like tactical destruction mucho. When it comes to guns and special weapon pickups, the Battlefield 4 beta is platform agnostic. Anyone can pick up and enjoy a semi-auto beast of a sniper rifle or a trifecta of rockets on the roof of the skyscraper. Standardized loadouts mean recon players can snipe, assault players can revive, engineers can destroy vehicles, and support can, you know, shoot lots of bullets in a general direction. All class weapons have been greatly expanded in Battlefield 4 and can also be utilized on both platforms, which means you can pretty much ignore most of that class-based stuff I just said a second ago and roll with your all-class DMR or carbine regardless. So what differences did you notice between platforms in the Battlefield 4 beta? Are you planning on buying on current gen consoles and dropping that extra Hamilton for next gen? Is your PC rig up to spec for Battlefield 4? These are the things that we would like to know for the next two weeks. And then we won't care because we'll be busy C4ing everything in sight. As always, leave your comments below and we'll see you on the battlefield.